What's going on everybody? So I am in Winnipeg, Manitoba. It is in Canada. That's a whole nother country. And zoo. I'm obviously with Steve Rampel and Jeff LeClaire. This is the Assiniboine Zoo. Yeah, Assiniboine Park Zoo. Assiniboine Park Zoo here in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Manitoba, Winnipeg, Canada. So we're going to go tour this zoo from one end to another. One of the things that I love about touring little hometown zoos like this is that they have a wide collection of native animals. So there's polar bears here. There is... All right, so whatever we see here is what we're going to see here. We are heading into the Assiniboine Park Zoo. Boink. Alright, so as soon as you walk into the zoo, you see this whole display about bisons, but uh, look at this. So can you match the parts of the bison to their many uses? A, pemmican, B, clothing, and then you look at the bison and it's like A, uh, one, two, A, B, um, I don't, I, I don't think somebody thought this through. Dave, Dave, this, this is the numbers that correlate, not those letters. But, that, but that's not funny. All right, let's go see the bison. Oh man, they got a white bison. And this is your first time at this zoo, so this is your first time seeing this white bison. Yes. What do you think of this white bison? I think this white bison is pretty darn white. White, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's just a cool animal. All right, so we are leaving the bison. That was such action-packed footage of those bison just sitting in the dirt. Kind of jealous of it. That's my kind of like dream lifestyle to just sit around and lay in the dirt all day. But uh, what do we got over on this section? Oh, we got wolves and we've got, well, we've got wolves. There's a wolf. Now, why do they have this fence between us and the wolves? So we don't put our fingers in there to try and pet them? Which is something I would 100% do. I would absolutely go up and pet that wolf. That wolf was sleeping and his tongue is out. Rock out with your tongue out. I think that's how that saying goes. Um. All right, and over here we have the cougar. If you ever want to know how to say cougar in English, there it is. Cougar in French, there it is. Look at that majestic beastie. I love these cats. These are so cool, so majestic, so graceful. I wish I had a thesaurus right now. Do you want to do the honors on the cougar joke or? <laughs> Give her. Jeff, cougar joke? Yeah, it's like at Three's Company when Mr. Farley's watching him. <laughs> Not the cougar joke I expected, but I'll accept it. <laughs> <laughs> So if you guys are familiar with the Mothman legend, what they actually saw that night that they deemed the Mothman was this guy right over here. This is a snowy owl. They're big. They don't often get down to West Virginia. And when they first saw this big, huge flying thing with glowing red eyes because, you know, the headlights of the car, what they actually saw was this guy. This is the Mothman. But that is a big, big owl. And not a lot of people know how big snowy owls actually are. Uh, you really can't get an idea for how big that owl is, so you're going to have to take my word for it. But that is a big snowy owl. Very cool. Native to Manitoba too, which is, you know, I guess cool. Alright, so moving on from Mothman over here, we're getting to the meat of this zoo. And that is the journey to Churchill. I guess there's polar bears there. I hope there's polar bears there. And there's somebody desecrating it. Lovely, lovely. All right, this is the Eurasian Tundra Reindeer. Ooh, reindeer cows have the richest milk of any ungulate. Yum. An adaptive feature for enabling the calves to gain weight quickly in order to survive the harsh environments. That's my problem. I've drinking too much of that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How is reindeer milk? It's excellent. Yeah? It's excellent, yeah. Mm -hmm. Creamy, rich. Oh yeah, milk. all the stuff. Yeah. yeah, creamy and rich and yeah. smooth and silky and you yeah. know all the adjectives. You're, you're gonna you're gonna jump that fence and go suck an udder over there, aren't you? <laughs> 
I am, yeah. <laughs> it's like I'm going to join in all the reindeer games. <laughs> bully, bully, yes, yes, Good. quite. Yes, yes, quite. yes, 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 yes. Yes, I pronounce you to be the most whimsical chap of the <laughs> season, yes. All right, so there's the reindeer. Now, Jeff, I don't think, I only see one udder on that reindeer over there, so Pass. I would not go up and try to milk that one. That's one reindeer, one reindeer game I won't play. <laughs> yes, 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 whimsical. Yes, mmm, quite. All right, look at that. That is a building. That's a tropical house? Mm -hmm. Is it tropical in there? It's very humid. Very humid? Moist. Very moist in the tropical, well, boob-shaped building there. <laughs> look at this. Here is a sign that we are getting closer to the polar bears. But first, Toucan Ridge. Um, I thought you said this was the tropical building. It says Toucan Ridge. You can call it whatever you want. Okay, let's go into the boob. So let's start over here. We've got a Scarlet Ibis and a Peruvian Thick Knee, none of which hang around the sign. Oh, <gasps> flying foxes. These are my favorite foxes in the world, the flying foxes. I love going to Australia and seeing these guys in all the trees. Man, I really, I, I would really love one of these in my living room just to feed all my excess fruit to. And then look up there on the ridge. We've got three spoonbills and two scarlet ibises up there. Just hanging up on the ridge. And you can tell that they uh, hang up there <laughs> quite a bit. <gasps> and then we have a red foot tortoise right there. That's a nice size and the shell looks healthy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, digging a latrine right there, no doubt. <laughs> but look at this. I mean, this tortoise has like this entire area to go and play and then there's lots of fresh grass out there and it's a nice sunny day but no he's just gonna stay here in the corner and be all emo and stuff all right so right over here we have one of my favorite cats the ocelot and in french ocelot but look at this he has this entire enclosure lots of places to climb lots of places to hide and where does this cat hang out right in the cardboard box. He's got Ocelot, but yet he wants to hang out in the Ocelittle. I'm sorry, that was, that was, that was, I, I couldn't think of a better joke than that. I'm so, I you're so terribly sorry, yeah. Yeah, sometimes my jokes just float around and never land. That one is in the stratosphere right now. All right, so leaving the Ocelittle, so sorry, so sorry. We are now heading into this cave where I think there's gonna be some more stuff to see in here. I like caves, caves are awesome. The first thing we see is a common squirrel monkey. Oh, there he is, there he is, I got him. Look at him just being all squirrely over there, being all monkey-like and squirrely. He's just sitting right there. Oh no, he's gonna itch like a monkey. Itch, oh yeah, there he's itching like a squirrel. Yes, yes, very squirrely and very, oh, oh, bye. All right, and then, we go to the conservation outpost and i believe we have some reptiles here all right first up is a pueblin milk snake and there he is mm, could use maybe a little bit more humidity i don't know what do you guys think pueblin and then down here we have the axolotls axolotls very cool i like how they have this like with a blue light so that you can like see them glow in the dark Oh, there's another one over here. And now everybody knows that axolotls like to drive vehicles. So they put that in there, but they weighted it down with rocks um, just for to be dicks. I don't know, why would you weigh down the car? All right, and here we have a boa constrictor. In French, boa constrictor. In person, we've got two of them. Wow, those are nice. 
Look at that. Look at how they form this perfectly symmetrical pattern and how they're laying down. There's some something going on with how snakes lay like that, that they're trying so desperately hard to communicate something with us. What are they trying to communicate with us? They want friends to cuddle with. I think that's exactly correct. They're thermoregulating. That's right. Well, that sounds better. All right, and now we are going into the Snake Discovery Center. Wait a minute, no, Kinsman. Kinsman, not Snake. Let's go in. All right, so gorillas I have kissed, um, some cracked open eggs, and some fish. Hello, Dory. Look at these archer fish right here. These are so cool. Whoa, hey, play nice, you're Canadian. This is super cool. Oh, look at these guys. Frog mouths. Okay, that is just super cool. I love these birds. These are so awesome. And look at that, they're just sitting right in the middle of the basket. Just like a goth Easter setup. And then we come over here to the meerkats, which I don't see, nor do I smell. But there they are. Look at that. Absolute, 100% unadulterated adorableness. A bunch of meerkats sitting in a basket. I don't think there is anything more absolutely adorable than what we are looking at right here. Meerkats in a basket. I am just going to stand here and stare at you guys for about another hour and a half. You guys are adorbs. Look at them. All furry and adorable and inquisitive and baskety. So this area of the zoo right behind me is set up to be just like Churchill in Northern Manitoba, one place that I've always wanted to go and I will get up there one day, but if this is designed like Churchill, Manitoba, that means that there are probably the polar bears just right around here. I think we have polar bears. Oh, look at this, he's like right here. This is awesome. Look at that big lazy bear. Look at the size of those paws. That's crazy. But yeah, look at this. There's the little swimming pool they've got, but they've got this whole big enclosure, which is really cool. Yeah, and uh, this guy is utilizing every bit of it. Uh, but over here, excuse, pardon me, terribly sorry, coming through, pardon me, terribly sorry, coming through. Um, over here, we've got another polar bear. Look at that. Spread eagle on the ground, just like me. Oh, uh, look at the amusement that this dude is giving all of these people. He's got his head stuck in a barrel. And that is, that is very, very amusing to all the people here. Wow, Canadians are really cool. Look at that, he just smashed into the wall. All these Canadians are laughing at this poor polar bear who has a barrel stuck to his head. I thought Canadians were nice and friendly. We're and supportively laughing and clapping. Oh, supporting. Oh, yeah, I see, yeah. I see. Good That's... job, keep doing it. Oh, I see. A. 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 Oh, there he goes. He got the barrel off. Everything is fine. All right, so. Polar Bear offering hours of entertainment to the citizens of Canada. All right, gateway to the Arctic. Let's go in. I, I take it there's seals in here? Yes. Is there penguins? Do you have uh, penguins? Are there penguins here? Do you have penguins? No, I don't think we have penguins. Oh man, all right, let's go. All right, we're going into gateway to the Arctic. And through this door. Oh, it's nice and dark in here, I like it. All right, so it, you get this whole big aquarium here and all I see is, oh, there's one right there. Oh, well, that was brief. All I was gonna say, all I see in here is a bunch of floating feces. That's algae. Oh, there's another one, there's another one. That one's going away. Here comes another one. That one's going nice and slow. Do, 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 do. Oh, look at this. There's a whole tunnel that you can go under in here. Oh, this is like really rather cool if there was seals in here. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Look at this. This is such a cool display for... See, I don't no? see the polar bears. Well, usually the polar bears are like green. Oh, this is polar bear area? Oh, this is a polar bear area. Wait, is there a polar bear? Nope, just water. Just floating feces. So the polar bears could, if they wanted to, swim right over us. We'll have to use our imagination. All right, 
Oh, look at that polar bear right there. Whoa, that is amazing. Okay, and then over here we have the Arctic Fox. Oh, there he is. Look at that. Just got a little Pomeranian. Look at that. That's a Pomeranian. <laughs> So this time of year, you can see that they are losing their winter coats. And by the time it starts snowing again, he will be bare naked. Look at that. He's posing so nicely. He's a poser. <laughs> He's a total poser. What are you looking at over there? What's so interesting? Yeah, over here. Me. That's what's interesting. Oh, no. He apparently doesn't think I'm interesting at all. He's looking over that way now. What does he see over there? Hmm... Look at that tiger back there. So graceful. So full of class. There could be nothing that could ruin this majestic scene. Except for maybe that. Stay classy, Canada. All right, so that was a really cool zoo, Steve. Thank you so much for bringing me here. This, uh, again, I was here last year. No, four years ago when I was here. Yep. I have no idea what's going on, but uh, <laughs> Jeff had fun. He's behind us somewhere. So guys, there's lots more zoo adventures coming up. So hit that subscribe button when you do hit that bell so you never miss an upload. So guys, until the next zoo adventure, love the planet, feed your animal obsession, and rattle on. on.